are going to begin this class with the aim of meeting these targets. First, you will learn on segmenting and blending sounds as well as drawing the R sound. Our topic continues today with sound blending. I hope you are ready. Just like in our previous class, we'll practice segmenting using gestures. I hope you can still remember the gestures we used. On the first sound, you place your hand above your elbow. On the second sound, you place your hand in between your elbow. While on the third sound, you place your hand on your wrist. Now let's get started as we practice using these gestures with words. S -o -p. Slide through your hand as you blend the sounds. And we have soup. Wow, so yummy. Let's go over to the next sound. E Slide through your arm and blend the sounds. And we have fish. Wow, I love eating fish. On the first sound, place your arm above your elbow and say, hmm. On the second sound, place your hand in between your elbow and say, e. While on the third sound, place your hand on your wrist and say, tss. Now slide through your arm and blend the sounds. And we have meat. Mm. Eat gives meat. Good job. We have here R. I. S. I hope you are blending. Now slide through your arm and blend the sounds. And we have rice. R. I. S. Gives rice. Let's move over to the next word. We have ch, e, z, ch, e, z. Slide through your arm and blend the sounds. And we have cheese. Wow, this is lovely. J, u, s, j, u, s. Now slide through your arm and blend, and it gives juice. B, E, F. Slide through your arm and blend. B, E, F. Gives beef. Good. K, A, K. What word do you think this is? K, A, K. And it gives cake. Wow! I'm sure you love eating cake. I love eating cake too. K, A, K. Gives cake. Now, what do you think these words have in common? Let's find out. Wow, they are all foods. Juice, beef, fish, soup, cake, cheese. They are all foods. Good job, kids. Now it's time to move over to another segment. It is called Spelling Review. In our last class, we looked at the sound Hmm. Now I'm going to show you some cards and you tell me the sound. Let's get started. I'm very excited. What do you think this sound is? Look very well and sound. Wow, that's right. This is sound. Hmm. Good. Now, in today's class, you also learn on the sound A. 
and this leads us to another segment called mirror mirror now get your mirror and observe the position of your mouth while making the ah sound you will repeat several words after me these words have the ah sound at the beginning apple say that apple add I hope you are using your mirror. Now let's repeat some more words. These words have a as the middle of the words. Cat at cat bad b a d bad have Cap, k, a, p, cap. Now, what do you think was the position of your mouth when you were making the sound? Was it opened or closed? That's right, your mouth was opened. The a sound is made with your mouth opened. Can you tell where your tongue is when you make this sound? Ah, well, your tongue is low and in the front of your mouth. Try saying it again. Ah, I'm sure you observe the position of your tongue. Now, how are these sounds different? Ah and mmm. Well, I'm sure you have observed. A is said with your mouth opened. Why? M is said with your mouth closed. Good. You will echo my words. I want you to watch as your mouth say these words. At apple. Add Maths Maths Mad I am going to say a number of words. Some of these words will begin with the A sound and some will not. Now close your eyes and listen carefully. Raise your hand when you hear a word beginning with the A ah sound. Add beets, apple, meats, attic, eats, at, at, egg. After kids and acts, I hope you raise your hand when you add the words with the ah sound. It's time to introduce how to draw the picture of the ah sound. Ensure you listen and watch carefully. First, you draw a big circle to the left and a short line down. Let's try it now in the air. Bring out your finger and draw a circle to the left and a short line down. Now, kids, watch this. This is sound ah. A circle to the left and a short line down. Again, a circle to the left and a short line down. One more time, a circle to the left and a short line down. Good! I'm sure you know how to draw the R sound now. 
Hooray! It's worksheet time. Let's practice drawing pictures of the R sound. Get your unit three word book and open over to page three. On this page, you are asked to trace the sound R. While on page four, you are to draw the sound R under pictures of items that begin with the sound R. Now kids, I hope we are able to meet our targets, segmenting and blending sounds as well as drawing the R sound. I'm sure you had a fun time just like I did. Don't forget to attempt your quiz and do your assignments. You know I love you and I'll see you in the next class. Bye-bye.